James Hill for iPhone TV in association with Maxwell's Jim Marbella. I'm in central London today on the Steve Goodwin press conference right. ahead of the March 21st uh, card. With me, I've got Michael to look Lomax. What's happening, Michael? Not much, just, just doing all the press conferences and just getting ready for the fight. Three weeks to go, looking forward to it. Um, weight's going well, training's going well. But the other bit I'm looking forward to is actually retiring after this as well. This is going to be your last one. You've officially hundred and hundred and ten percent. I've said to myself, I'm I'm getting older myself because I've got other things I want, other adventures in life I want to do. Yeah. So for myself, this is a good crowd pleasing fight to retire on. Um, I don't slag anyone off and don't I don't have any bad vibes about anyone apart from this guy I'm fighting where does the animosity between you and Chad Simmons come from do you know what he just slags me off because I beat him understandable but obviously little man syndrome and look I've got the goss on him because this is the real reason why I've got to find a problem because really can you see that guys just about how about that Shirley Simmons. He's not going to like this. Well, look, don't dress up like a bird then. Easy as. Where, where did this begin, this feud between you and Chad Simmons? Because you're both likeable lads, in my opinion, yeah. for what it's worth. Where, where did this start, this hostility? I, um, I think, if, do you know what? I don't even know where the beef come out, truthfully. Um, because myself, he says I'm fake. All I do is put people down. I don't. I don't think I've ever done an interview where I've slagged off someone I'm preparing to fight. Um, with the the thing what sort of now the coffin like nail in the coffin was after the fight we had done an interview. I spoke highly. I said look we had a good fight. We done really well. Um, and his side of it was um, he saw Mick Williams coming out of my changing room zipping up his flies. Now really. You don't need to lower yourself to that standard. Um, so, can you but, understand he might be just frustrated because he didn't get maybe the score that he thought he thought his performance deserved? I don't, can you I don't understand even, that frustration? I don't even think the commenta the commentators didn't even give me a running in it. Really, the fight because they turned around and they were saying, "Oh, Lomax has won this clearly um, by about eight, nine rounds." So, really. Um, I know you're saying about the standing count. Look, at the end of the day, his hand hit the canvas. Um, it was with a punch. I'm not saying I've knocked him down hard, but he connected with. I connected with a punch. He touched the canvas. Boom! Standing count. It's happened to me in the past, and I was like, "What the hell has happened?" First standing count I've ever had in my life. Um, but it's part of boxing. And then the, the uh, point deducted for the low blow, I did take a number of um, number of low shots that night. Yeah. What do you say to the fact that you said in the press conference that the referee seemed to be influenced by yourself and your team? What is your take on that? I think that's just to get him up for the fight, really. He wants an excuse. Um, look, I've gave him the chance to... to, to fight me again. Like I said, I could have had an easy fight, but I've chose a crowd-pleasing fight to retire on. Not many people would take a risk by having such an adventurous fighter, but I know he's going to come, he's got good supporters. I've already done, with three weeks left to go, over 200 tickets, so my support is going to be immense there. I just can't wait for the night. If it is a great fight and a great occasion, are you tempted to, to look at another fight and Never again? Because you've Never got the ever. bug, you're a boxer, you've done this a long time, you know? Like I said, I think the last time we had an interview, I've done it 28 years now, 136 amateur and pro fights, 22 losses, challenge for the British, challenge for the Commonwealth, won prize fighter, won um, the International Masters, won the British Masters Silver. Really? I haven't done too bad, considering I've been holding the job full time as well. It might have been different if I had like full sponsorship and like the elite athletes I'm fighting were... Um, they get funded basically by sponsorship not to work yeah. um, myself I'm not willing to give up a business chasing a dream where what I've achieved I'm, I'm content All right, well listen I'm looking forward to a great fight if it is your last fight I wish, you the, 100%. I wish you the best of luck you know what I mean with what you're doing thank like you said, I'm really looking forward to a great contest brilliant thank you